Hello kindergarten and first grade. Today's project is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. You're going to be making a beautiful picture and show all the things that are underground happening and everything that is up in the garden. So here's what you need today. You will need a piece of white paper. You will need your crayons and your watercolor paints, which means you need a little bit of water too. So now's a good time to gather your supplies, your paint, water, crayons, and paper. And you, while you're waiting, you can tell your substitute teacher about some things you've noticed growing this spring. So we'll pause the video while you all talk about maybe some things that you have helped to plant some things you have seen living outside or some things you've noticed growing the last few weeks. Let's pause now. Okay, now that we're ready to get started, I am going to illustrate the story while I tell you a little story about my garden and you can draw along with me. Okay, while my camera focuses, I'm going to draw a line right across the middle of my paper. So I want you to do that with me. I'm just using a brown crayon and I'm drawing a line and everything that is under the ground will be under the line and everything that is over up in the garden will be up over the line. So let me tell you about my garden. I have been busy planting things all month. Back during spring break, I started putting some bulbs underground. So I'm gonna put a bulb, if you've never seen one. It just looks like an ugly brown lump, but it makes beautiful flowers. So these kind of lumpy things, some of them are like rhizomes. They just look like those weird sticks. Or they look like strange little lumps of brown. And it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's gonna be anything. Some of them are very big. Some are very small. I planted a lot of seeds too. So I put lots of little seeds right under the soil. And I planted some grass seed right up on top of the soil. All these things I planted. And I did all that work and then nothing happened. It was still cold and brown outside and nothing was happening. Even my trees were just brown and plain. And I was so sad because I'd done all that work planting. So stop and think, what do we need for plants to grow? Well, I bet you're thinking we need some sunlight, right? We need a nice warm day. So maybe add some sunlight in your picture. Remember, your picture doesn't have to look just like mine. You can do it differently. You also need water for plants to grow, right? So I'll add some rain clouds and some rain. The plants need rain. And you know what? Sometimes I use my garden hose. Let's see. There's the hose. Doo -doo -doo. And we'll spray some water on this too, just to get it started, right? So you decide how you're going to water your garden. And then still nothing seems to be happening, right? I waited and waited down under the soil things are happening that we can't see. If you dig down you'll see some worms crawling around, loosening up the dirt. They're coming out and they're starting to look for warmer dirt. There are little insects with little eggs and their eggs are hatching. Maybe they have a cocoon somewhere. There's all sorts of things going on underground. If you'll take a white crayon, I'll show you a little magic trick. I know, you're thinking, how are we going to draw white on white, right? Well, trust me, it's gonna look great once we add some paint in a few minutes. So let's add some roots to this. All these, what are these things? All these bulbs. They're busy underground, growing and stretching out long, hairy, white roots. Even my seeds are. So let's put lots of wiggly roots coming down from all these things. You can't see them yet. You can't tell what's happening down in the dirt. Everything is growing and growing. 
The roots are stretching out. They're reaching for sunlight and water and soil. Let's put lots of roots on the grass seed. Everything's working hard behind the scenes where we can't see it, right? And finally, finally, when the weather is warm enough and the seeds get moist enough, you start to see little bits of green, right? That grass starts to grow, tiny little grasses, and your flowers start to grow tiny little leaves. And things are happening. It's so exciting in the springtime, right? Even on the trees, you see little tiny bits of green that are going to become leaves, right? Things are starting to happen, right? Even under the soil, all of those flowers are about to pop up. If you look at a, um, a bulb underground, you'll see it starts to grow right out of there. It just barely peeks through the dirt. And if you go outside, you're like, oh, it's coming. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, right? This one might come up this way, right? Things start to happen. If you wait a few more days, they get bigger and bigger. They start to grow leaves. You could have long, straight leaves and stems. Maybe they grow little curvy leaves. You guys decide what your plants are going to be. I think this one's an iris. Maybe this one will be a tulip. Let's see, tulips have curly little leaves. This one's big. It's gonna have great big leaves on it. Let's see what these will become. So make long stems and leaves. Keep stretching out as your garden grows and grows and grows. It's getting bigger and bigger. And filling it in with lots of green. Oh, the tree's getting greener now too. It's like time is passing. Things are starting to bloom. Maybe you start to see little blossoms on the trees. Little cherry blossoms blooming, little tiny flowers all over. Oh my goodness, so much is happening to my picture. I want you guys to keep drawing too. Let's see what else you will add. Now the flowers are about to bloom, right? Maybe this one is a big tulip. I have some pink tulips blooming in my yard. Maybe you have a yellow daffodil. It's kind of star shaped. Maybe it has some orange in the middle. I know you've seen lots of flowers starting to bloom this week, right? Hmm, what else could I add? I noticed some little pink ones. Oh, I saw a red rose. Let's add some red roses over here. I'll just make a big swirly swirl. Think of some shapes you've seen. Oh, I had an iris. That kind of has flower petals down, flower petals up. You come up with some shapes that you like for your flowers. I had little hyacinths that have lots of itty bitty purple flowers all over them little tiny flowers all over one stem. You can come up with ideas that work for you for your garden. I think I'll make this I have lots of little orange flowers on it. Oops, I broke my crayon. So come up with some beautiful things in your garden and just remember all the things that might live in your garden. Underground, those bulbs are busy working. I'm going to color them in a little bit. And remember all the secret roots. In just a few minutes, you can stop and talk if you press the raise hand button and you could tell your teacher some other things that might live underground or some other things that might live up in the garden. You guys could think about some kinds of bugs, things that crawl or fly. What kinds of things might live in a garden? Let's stop for a moment so you can talk to each other. You can pause the video now. Okay, now I want to show you the final step, the really fun part. Once you've drawn all the plants and animals in your garden and down in the dirt, you can take some nice wet brown and gently brush it over your picture. 
And remember how crayons are waterproof? I know you guys have learned that already. If you brush over, remember those roots we made with the white crayon? They're going to magically appear. Look, you can see underground. Whoa, that's so cool. So just brush and spread out that thin watery paint. And fill in the whole ground. Let's give it some nice soil down in the dirt. See if your brush is nice and wet, you can just very quickly spread it right out. Dooby dooby doo. All the dirt. Oh, you see all the things living down in your garden? I'm gonna clean my brush and now I'm gonna make the sky. Just get some nice thin blue and I'm going to brush that all up in the garden. And again, my crayon was all waterproof, so I can just spread this blue water out right over everything I already made. Just lightly. So once you see what I'm doing and you're ready, you can get your brush wet and start with your brown and then clean it and then add some blue. And see, I'm just spreading it out. If it seems dry like this, add a little more water. There we go. And pretty soon you'll have a beautiful picture and a story to tell. You could explain to someone all about this. While you are drawing and painting, I'm going to let you listen to a story that goes perfectly with this. And believe it or not, that story is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. So your teacher's going to stop this video and play that video now. I can't wait to see how your beautiful gardens turn out. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.